Hi, it's Linda with CreativePLR.com, and today I'm doing a little housekeeping uh, for my landing pages and forms in ConvertKit. Now, even if you don't use ConvertKit, here's a tip that you could use in any kind of email service provider. Whenever anyone signs up for a lead magnet, or even a product, if you're doing a bundle and you have a landing page in there instead of an actual sales page, and so what's going to happen is they put in their name, their email address, whatever information you're collecting, and they're going to get a confirmation email in their mailbox. And it's going to say something like, you know, click to subscribe. Okay, so that generic kind of message, um, I mean, that's really what you want them to do, right? You want them to click to subscribe. However, you know, I'm a busy person. You're a busy person. We're all really busy. And perhaps in the case of a bundle, uh, they've signed up for, I don't know, 40 or 50 different things. And so then when they've got a full email box, you know, and they're looking at this mailbox of all of these emails that say click to subscribe, they don't remember exactly who you are and what they subscribed for. They don't know anything about you. And so what I like to do is I like to change the settings just a little bit. And so here is my growth mindset signs to use in the classroom. And you go in and you're going to use the incentive button because it is an incentive. If they click the button, uh, the confirmation button, they're going to get your product. So I like to change this and it has a button already on there. By the way, you can change this button color for your branding colors if you want. You can change it to something um, that's suitable for you. You can change the color and let's say I wanted something a little darker, or maybe not quite that dark. You can change the text color. I want something really black because I really want it to show up. You can change the width of it. You can change the margin. You can change it. You can put it in the middle. You can do whatever you want to. So you really can do this. Um, so the message says click to confirm your subscription or whatever the generic message is. And so you want to stand out in a crowd of people. So what I did is I changed it and it says, Hey there, new friend. My name is Linda and I love designing products for people to use. That's absolutely true. I do love designing products. Nice to meet you. Thanks for signing up and requesting this freebie. I hope this is a start of a long friendship. You could even customize this more. You can say, thanks for requesting these growth mindset signs. Um, you know, if you have your classroom, this is a great way to decorate, especially at the end of the year, at the beginning of the year and the end of the year, you can take them down for, for use or laminate them for a better use. You can customize this any way you want for your freebies. So today, since I'm doing housekeeping, I'm going through and I'm updating about 15 different freebies. So I made it a little bit generic. Uh, but as I add new ones, I will be doing this and then you want to save it and save it again and then you want to save it a third time so save three times make sure you get this form has been saved or it hasn't done anything the other thing that i would like to point out and this is why i started do the, doing the housekeeping two hours ago on convert kit because i realized there was a mistake so i was creating a freebie hub for my subscribers and putting all of these freebies on one page on my website so they don't have to go through and sign up individually if you're getting my email list you're already getting you're already signed up so just giving you access to all of them as i do and so what i did was i went into settings on one of these and i realized the settings said um it gave this it clicked this incentive this general email and then if they clicked and that's where i had put my custom message Okay. And then I realized I needed to create the custom message here. And when I looked at this, since I had been copying the forms, when I realized that I've been copying the forms and I was forgetting to change the URL. So a lot of my early on lead magnets and opt-ins had the wrong link on there. It was a good link. It was practice frames, but if somebody signed up for a planner and they got practice frames, they probably thought it was a little bit ditzy. Okay, so I went through and changed that, and that's when I realized that my, my message wasn't uh, working. I had it in the wrong spot. So I hope this is helpful. Whatever email service provider you use, you're going to be able to customize that welcome message to really show your personality and something about you. 
and maybe something about the product they're going to download. So, so in a sea of emails, in a sea of email confirmations, you're going to stand out just a little bit more. I hope this was helpful and have a great day.